Cassidy and I'm part of the team here at Making Music. Welcome back to our series on clarinet scales. In case you missed it, last week Anna taught you guys how to play the D major scale and this week I'm going to teach you how to play the relative minor to that which is B minor. If you missed any of our past videos feel free to check them out. I'll link them below so you can go give those a watch. I'm very excited like I mentioned. Great to have you guys back. Thanks for coming. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm very excited to get teaching you the scale. So without further ado, let's begin. Alrighty, so the first note in the B scale is of course going to be B. And to play B, you're going to place your thumb, your first, second, and third finger in your left hand, and then your middle finger in your right hand. So thumb, one, two, three, and middle finger in that right hand. And that's going to sound like this. Now the next note is going to be C sharp. So to play C sharp, you're going to pick up that middle finger in your right hand, and then you're going to play this little pinky key here in your left hand, this one right here. And that's going to give you C sharp, and then it'll sound like this. And the next note is going to be D. So to play D, you're going to pick up your pinky and your ring finger in your left hand. Still nothing down in your right hand. So it's just be thumb, one and two on your left hand. And that's going to give you D. Okay, so I know the first three notes. So let's put those three together and see what that sounds like. B, C sharp, and D. Okay. Now the next note's going to be E, and all you do for E is you pick up that middle finger in your left hand. So it's just your thumb and your pointer finger to play E, like you're pinching the clarinet, like I say in all my other videos. It's going to be E. is going to be F sharp. So to play F sharp, all you're going to do is pick up your thumb in your left hand. So all the only finger that should be on the clarinet is your pointer finger in your left hand, in this top key here, and that's going to give you F sharp. Okay, the next note's going to be G, and to play G, you should have no fingers down, totally open, and that's going to sound like this. So is A, and to play A, all you're going to play is this little, um, this upper key here. Okay, so that's going to be A. Nothing else down, just your pointer finger on your left hand on that key there. That'll be A. Okay, and then after that, you're going to play B, which here you're jumping the bridge, so as we've mentioned in our past videos, give it a lot of air, really give it some gusto so you can get up over that, um, the, the bridge there, um, up over the break. And to play B, you're going to put all of your fingers down, so you're going to play your thumb and the register key in your left hand. And then you're going to play first, second, and third finger there, and then you're also going to play first, second, and third finger in your right hand. Now, there are two ways to play this, as we've mentioned before. Um, I will show you the way that I play it first, and then we'll quick review the other way, going from, because you go from B to C sharp. So the way I play it, um, so you have all those fingers down, and then you're going to play this pinky key right here. And then when you go to C sharp, you're going to actually pick up that pinky in your left hand, and you're going to play this pinky in your right hand. So B to C sharp. So let's see what B will sound like first, and then C sharp. So this is B. And that actually puts you at the top of the scale. So before we move to C sharp, um, let's first play through that first octave of the scale. And I'll show you again real quick what, that's, um, what the fingers are like for that. So for B, it's your thumb, one, two, three, no register key yet. And the middle finger in your right hand. And then you play C sharp. So you pick up your middle finger in your right hand and play this pinky in your left hand. And then D 
pick up your ring finger and your pinky, E, F sharp, so pick up your thumb and instead of before we, when we play F, you pick up your pointer finger, but we're playing F sharp, so you're going to pick up your thumb, F, G is all open, A is this key right here, and then B is all of your fingers, um, except that pinky in your right hand, and that'll give you B. So, let's see what that scale sounds like for the first octave, and then we'll jump into the second one. So here's the first octave. Alright, octave number one, check. So now let's move on to the second octave. So you, you're coming from, let's say you're coming from this B, um, the way I'm playing it right now. So you have you know, your thumb and your, the register key down, right? And then you've got one, two, three, and one, two, three on both hands, and you've got this pinky here. Now to play C sharp, like I mentioned a few seconds ago, you're going to pick up this pinky in your left hand, and you're going to play this pinky down here in your right hand. Just going to swap those, and that'll give you C sharp, and that'll sound like this. And then to play D, you're just going to pick up that pinky in your right hand. So you should have thumb register key, one, one, two, three on both hands. That'll give you D. Now to play E, you're just going to pick up that uh, ring finger in your right hand. That'll be E. you're going to pick up your pointer finger um, in your right hand. So you should have thumb register key one, two, three on your left hand. That's been pretty static since we played the B up above the bridge. And then just your middle finger um, on your right hand. And that's going to give you F sharp. Okay. And then for G, all you're going to do is pick up that middle finger in your right hand. So nothing on your right hand should be down. Excuse me. And your left hand is going to be thumb register key. One, two, three. That'll give you G. Then A. To play A, you just pick up that ring finger in your left hand. And that'll give you A. Okay. And then after that, you're at the top of the scale. You're going to play B, so you pick up that middle finger in your left hand, so you should just have thumb, register key, and pointer finger on your left hand, and that will give you B, and you're at the top of the scale. Alright, awesome. So now let's review that upper octave of this scale. So for B, you play this pinky um, in your left hand, remember you have Thumb register key, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then this pinky. And then you switch to this pinky on your right hand. Now, um, as was the case with our other scales, we were going from B to C. And there were alternate fingerings for that. Um, in this case, there's one also. So you could play B here. Don't put down your left pinky, but instead put down your right pinky here. And then you play, could play C sharp by picking up that right pinky and playing this far pinky over here. That'll give you B to C sharp. Or you can play it the way I played it, which was um, this pinky here first for B in your left hand, and then swap to this pinky in your right hand for C sharp. So um, again, as I mentioned in our previous videos, it's player preference, totally up to you. They both work um, gloriously, so um, feel free to pick whichever is more comfortable for you. It's totally fine. Um, so once you get past C sharp, then you play D, and all you're going to do is pick up um, whichever pinky you have down for C sharp. So if you're going the way I play it, you pick up your right pinky, or the other way, you'll pick up that left pinky, and you'll have D, which is just thumb register key, and one, two, three on both hands. Then you're going to play E, F sharp, remember pick up your pointer finger, F sharp, G, A, and B. And that is the second octave 
of the B minor scale. So let's see what that's going to sound like and then we'll put it all together. Octave number two, check. All right, so now let's play both octaves together so you can see what that sounds like. It's gonna sound just like this. job. So that's how you play the B minor scale on the clarinet. Be sure to check back next month. Anna is going to teach you how to play A major and then I'm going to teach you how to play F sharp minor. Sounds a little scary. It's not bad at all. Just three sharps. We'll get through it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's going to be great. Um, thank you so much for stopping back with us and checking out these scale videos. Um, as I mentioned in all of our other videos, if there's anything we can do to help you learn better with these videos, help make them more efficient or more easier to understand, um, anything we can do to help you guys, please, please, please reach out to us. And also, as before, we encourage you to follow along um, with the scale below. You'll see it printed out, uh, well, not printed out, but you'll see it written out down below. We strongly encourage you to follow along with that so you're not mimicking our fingers. You are um, learning to read the notes on the scale as well. And we'll also include a link to a printable um, clarinet fingering chart in case you want to venture into some other fingerings or if you just want a reference um, that's there for you as well. Thank you again for stopping by. We hope to see you back next month and always remember to keep practicing. <music>